you guys what's going on. So there's a pretty big issue going on right now with iOS 11.1. You have an iPhone, you're probably experiencing this issue right now. We're on most social media apps. If you type the letter lowercase i, it auto corrects to this funky thing and it just looks weird. Most of the time it'll correct it after the, you've made the post and you don't see it while you're typing. But in some cases you'll see it and it'll automatically correct while you're typing out your post. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So this is a pretty easy fix, but just to show you what I'm talking about in case you're unaware, my friend Sammy tweeted me and said, how do you make this uh, stop autocorrecting? Now, if you look at my response, it looks like a completely normal response, no autocorrects, no issues. But then after I replied, you can see how it autocorrected with an exclamation point, a space, and then a square with a question mark inside of it. Now, Apple is a completely aware of the situation, and this is what they suggested to do. However, since I've tried doing this, I've still come into the issue, so I'm gonna show you a workaround. So what you're gonna do is navigate over to settings, then you're gonna go to general, and then you're gonna go down to keyboard and then text replacement. So this method is almost exactly the same as how Apple said to do it. So I'm gonna erase the one I have here. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the plus sign and then here what you're gonna do is leave a space and then a capital I and then in the shortcut, you're just gonna do a lowercase i and click save. Now the difference between this method and the one that Apple showed is if you leave a space before the capital I is it'll leave a space, but then it'll auto correct itself, but it won't have that question mark inside of the box. So after you've done that, let's test it out. So I'm gonna go to Twitter here. I'm gonna try a new tweet and I'm gonna type out something with a few eyes in it to see what happens. So as you can see here, it did not auto correct to the square with the question mark inside of it. I purposely left the eye after the apple and then the eye after the glitch just to see if by itself if it would try to do it, but it actually did not at all, so that's really good. I also went ahead and replied to a couple of my own comments just to show you guys that that is working. So that is how you fix the apple eye glitch. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure you follow me on Twitter at JB underscore iPhone 5. Feel free to treat me any questions or comments you have. Currently, Apple is working on an update for iOS 11.1 to fix this issue that we should be seeing coming out here in the next few days, hopefully sooner. But until then, thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe.